Here is a cash budget question that we are now going to work with. The extract from the cash budget and the requirements on this page calculate missing figures numeral 1, numeral 2 and numeral 3. So let's go and find that on our question paper. Collection from debtors, number 1. Rent income, number 2. And salaries, number 3. And back to that answer sheet. Calculate the missing figures in that cash budget. Collection from debtors would be our first target. So off we go in search of that. Right, collection from debtors. Right up on A. Sales, cost of sales, debtors collection. So remembering it's the month of December that we need to work out collection from debtors. The month of December sitting there. And so cash sales comprises 30% of total sales. So credit sales is 70% by implication. Debtors settle their accounts in the month following the month of sale. So with that in mind, we now know that the debtors collection schedule has no real complications at all. So it's November's total sales, 643,500 times 70%. November sales, 643,500 times 70%. And we put it in our calculator, 643,500 times 70%. And it gives us the princely sum of 450,450. And that takes care of the first of the questions in 3.2. The second of those, the rent income for December. On the surface of it doesn't look too difficult, but let's go in search. Rent income, uh, let's change colors and let's go with a dark purple. Number two is the rent income that we're in search of. And all the news for the rent income sits there in item C. Storage space is rented out at a fixed rate per square meter. Sounds good. An existing tenant occupies 60 square meters of the property. His lease expires on 30th June 2023. We are in December 2022. So that tenant is going to continue to pay us, it would seem, his rental of 15000 per month. All looks good so far. And then a new tenant is signed. He or she has joined on 1st of December 2022. And that's the month under review. And going to be there till 30th November 2023. That's fine. She will occupy 75 square meters of space. Now, here's where we got to make an assumption, right? And the assumption simply is the rental per square meter in total will not change as they have said in point one above. So let's let's do some work there. 60 square meters brings us 15,000 rands worth of rent. We now opening up a 75 square meter space and we asking ourselves the question, how much will that bring in? And our workings for that is gonna be 7,000, sorry, 75 cross multiply times 15,000 divided by 60. And when we do that, we should find an answer of 18,750. So in essence, tenant number one will still bring us the 15,000 rands, but the new tenant will bring us a further 18,750. Collectively, we're bringing in 33,000 750 worth of rental. Question two completed. Question three, changing the color. And question three asks us to work out the salaries for November. That's a bit odd because we've been doing December calculations. Let's go and look at what's going on here. I'll just take that off on the budget. The December salary is 55,595. And we need to work out November's. So let's go and look at salaries. Item D only. A new employee will be appointed from 1st December 2022. He will earn 14,840 per month. So that new employee is included in the 55,595. So we go to that 55,595 in December and we subtract that 14,840 from there. And we arrive at 40,000 
755. Oh, looking good so far. Our December, our November salary would have been that 40,000 odd. However, further news. All other employees will receive an increase of 4.5% on 1st December. So that's a bit of a kicker in the tail there, so to speak. Now, we got to look again at that 40,755, right? That amount is including the 4.5% salary increase that the existing employees are going to get. So that is a now 104.5%. And we want to know what is the 100%. And that's basically solving for X. So again, now, if we were to set this answer out, 40,755 times at 100 with that cross multiplication. And then we divide all that by 104.5%. And when you do all of that, you arrive at 39,000 rands as everyone's salary for the month of November. And so I'm going to take my calculator and work that amount out with you because I want you to do the same thing, right? So take your calculator and the answer that we've worked out as 39,000, right? Multiplied by 104.5% multiplied by 104.5. I'm going to do that right now with you. 39,000 times 104.5 and I get 40,755. I add the 14,840 to it and I get an answer of 55,595 and there is that 55,595. This answer has more mathematics in it than accounting but I think you'll appreciate the calculation that was done Probably in a test or an examination, you may not have the time to track it backwards to make sure that your calculation is correct. But in this particular lecture, we can show you what is needed in this respect and double check whether our workings are correct on this particular question. So we have gone through number one, collection from debtors. Number two, the rent income. And number three, the salaries for November. Uh, you need to spend some time working out a question of this nature because it kind of gives you enough exercises on how to work out the missing numbers on budgets. Thank you.